Okay, so this is me and my partner's uh, mousetrap car that we built uh, for our physics class. Um, ours is made mostly out of plastic, with the exception of the axles, which are made out of 4 millimeter uh, steel rod, and the mousetrap itself, which is just wood. Um, in the back, we have uh, ball bearings on either side. There's one there, and there's one on the other side. And you can see that we have sandpaper wrapped around the axle. That is so that when we pull the string back and load it, um, the string gets wrapped around there and when it, we release it, uh, the sandpaper um, helps the string grip the axle and uh, allow it to spin. Um, in the front, uh, we don't have ball bearings anymore. We used to, uh, if I can find them right here. But they are uh, filled with grease, so they're they're nice bearings, but they uh, don't have low enough friction for what we want. So we just uh, drilled uh, holes that were just slightly bigger than the axle in the uh, blocks and just lubricated it with some uh, spray lubrication. Uh, to save on weight, we cut the middle section of this black acrylic out and are using and I'm using just this. Uh, just the mousetrap itself is the uh, center part of the car and that saves on weight and makes it look really cool. The wheels are uh, CDs, the back or the back ones are uh, were originally blank DVDs and the, orig and the front ones were just uh, mini CD-ROMs. Uh, they were painted uh, metallic blue as you can see and the back ones have rubber around the edge uh, to provide grip when you set the car up, otherwise they'll just spin on the ground. Uh, the front ones don't need that because they're not the drive wheels. Uh, as for the R2-D2 that you see on there, that's our driver. Um, we just threw him on there at, little, at the last second because we saw him laying um, on my desk upstairs. So threw him on there and that is our mousetrap car.